Hey Jacko, do you use DaVinci Resolve and you want a challenge? I just found one and it's made by Motion VFX. They have a cinematic challenge with some cool prizes. You can get a MacBook Pro, DJI Air 2S, Sony Alpha A6600 and some story credit. You have some basic info on the contest on this section, but I suggest you go a bit down and read the terms and conditions. And why you want to do that, so you know what you actually have to do and how to apply. Now the one thing that stood out to me was point 0.25. You can't use stock footage. I did ask if this only applies to stock footage that you can find on the Motion VFX website or if it applies to all of the stock footage and I think the answer is pretty much it applies to all of the stock footage. Which I guess is fine, but that means that this challenge is not just about video editing and using these templates but also about filming, storytelling and directing. Now if you want to participate in this contest, you'll have to download and install the pack, but you'll also need an account so that you can actually download the pack. Now you may not want to do this, as you can see in the license agreement, when you install it, they ask for your unique user ID, which is the PC and the IP. I can only assume that they need the unique user ID, so you don't install the pack on multiple PCs, but I have no idea why they need the IP. If you agree to the license, the M installer will open up, you will have to sign in and you can then install the pack onto the PC. And as you can see, you can install it onto devices. But this is just a template, so do with that information what you will. Now let me quickly show you what the pack includes and what you can make with it. So we have a bunch of video transitions, motion VFX, this is the cinematic ones. So we have this one, if I apply it and go to the inspector tab, we have a bunch of options. Then we have this one. I don't really find this one good, but that could just be me. But you do have the prism option, so you have some red, green and blue channels. And you can also apply some flash. And make it strong, so it really flashes. Then we have Premiate, this one's kind of slow, on my PC at least. This one is subtle blur, flash and fade in between the clips. Then we have this one, I found this one useful and I think I use this one the most. But it's also slow on my PC, as you can see, but it has a lot of options. We have blur, smear, dent, dust and grain. So depending on what you want and options that you disable, this can be a lot faster. So those are the transitions that you can use. Then we have a bunch of titles. I guess this one's kind of cool, but I didn't find a use for it in this case. Then we have a simple credit list. And the last one is a narration. This one's kind of cool. So let's take a quick look. You have one text. You can change the text, change the font. But you have the lyrics option. And you can animate the word progress if you enable the karaoke. You also have the noise. I have zoomed in. And if you disable it, you won't have any texture to the text. And then lastly, we have some effects and we have motion effects, let's see. This one is just grain, you will apply this to the clip, diffusion, dirt, grain and color control. Let's see this one, this one is for two clips, so I'll show you that in a bit. Then we have this one, it's illumination, you have type 1, type 2 and type 3 and you can switch between the presets and change the controls. And then lastly we have this one. I find this effect the best of the bunch and you also have a lot of options that you can change. But now let's take a look at this one. So this one is for a fusion clip with two inputs. So I'll just do it like this. Delete the effect from this one. Make a new fusion composition. So with the clip selected 
we can go into the fusion page, go to effects, you will have to type in cinematic, this will be under the templates, edit effects, motion effects and make it cinematic 2023 and you will apply this effect. Simply drag the output from the merge and let's see how it looks like. We have a bunch of options. You can change the source. Is it video one or video two? You can animate this, how it will transition. And then you can also adjust these values. So let's see what I quickly made with this template. I would say not the best result in this case, but this is what you can do. Not to make the video cinematic, you should also apply some LUTs to the videos. But what you also need is some sounds. The easiest way to do that is with Croto Studio. You can use the free version, I'm still using the old version. And you can simply make basically any sound that you want. In this case, maybe some keyboard types. We do have that. Let me just find it. So we have keyboard 1 and 2. And then I'll just drag the sound that I've just made in the Vinci Resolve timeline and be able to listen to it. And that's it about the Motion VFX templates and the contest. And while this video was not sponsored by them, I think it's good if you know about the contest so that you can maybe win something. And now the last thing that I'll do is I'll finish this video up by adding some sounds from the Kroto Studio. So if you want to know how the video ended up, watch till the end. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more DaVinci Resolve and video editing content, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video actually comes out. And if you apply to the contest, leave a link down below so I can see what you made. I'm Simon, and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.